Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice. This is not a good day. Just coming in. Well, it happened this morning just before 12 o'clock lunchtime. Where a man went into, I believe, like a gay centre where they was holding a Taylor Swift themed party. It's a place where they hold activities for children during the summertime. They do arts and crafts and themed parties like today. He's gone in there and he attacked young children. Young children. How dare he? I am so disgusted. And I'm upset. I'm angry. Those poor children. He is the news. It says we can confirm that emergency services are in safe port following a major incident this morning around Monday 29th of July at around 11.50 a.m. We were called to a property on Hart Street to report of a stabbing. That's Merseyside Police. Lie. At around 11.50 a.m., we were called to a property on Hart Street to report of a stabbing. There are a number of reported casualties and more details will be confirmed when possible. Armed police have detained a male and seized a knife. He has been taken to a police station. Please avoid the area while we deal with this incident. There is no wider threat to the public. In its latest update, Northwest Ambulance Service said, we are responding to a major incident following a call at 11.48 to Hart Street in Southport. Following reports of multiple stabbings, we've dispatched 13 ambulances along with specialised resources of our hazardous area response team, air ambulance and merit doctors to the scene. So far, NWAS has treated eight patients with stab injuries who have been taken to Alderhay Children's Hospital, Aintree University Hospital and Southport and Formby Hospital. While the Alderhay Children's Hospital Trust also uh, released a statement, we know they have received the victims. They said, we can confirm that the Trust has declared a major incident. The Trust is working with other emergency services to respond to this incident and our emergency department is currently extremely busy. We ask parents to only bring their children to the emergency department if it is urgent. All other appointments and services are running as normal. The police have confirmed that an individual involved in the attack has now been detained. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Lee Walton, who owns a garage further down the street, and asked what he'd seen. The first thing I knew was... Um basically all the sirens going up and down the street uh, could hear something something major had happened um, and then the police helicopters and then multiple air ambulances it was um, you, it was just you could just tell there was something big you know something something major and, and we're hearing um, over 13 ambulances um, a huge number of, of police vehicles there. There must be a great deal of concern locally from people on the street. Um, yeah, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, imagine there is. I mean, there was initially, but I, I think when the news news reports came in that the the male, the, the suspect anyway, had been been caught, and the police reassured everyone that there was, you know, no no further risk to the public. I think I think that was, you know, obviously a great relief for everyone. Yeah, we we know that the. Um, the Northwest Ambulance Service have conveyed a number of, of patients to Alderhay Children's Hospital. Um, what do we know? Have you, have you heard anything about who the victims are? Well, initially, um, a delivery driver came and, and said that he'd heard on social media it's three children um, and that it was potentially a nursery. Um, and then what I've heard is, is, is reports from... From the news and that now that it's it's a lot more casualties than that and it does sound like it's 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 children which is um very shocking 
It is, yeah. We, we are still waiting to get further confirmation of numbers, but clearly no from the ambulance. This is children. This is defenseless. Young children. Right? This is children that have done nothing to no one. Nothing. They are just children. They grow up thinking of butterflies, unicorns, flowers, dolls, soccer balls, footballs, you name it. This is children. They are innocent. I'm upset because those children and they don't deserve this. Children do not deserve to see this. Service that they They don't deserve any of this. Now Southport is only a small place. Right? Wanna zoom out? This is Southport. Right, hold on, I'll just put Southport in. And it'll mark it up how big Southport is. Luckily, it's not that big. It's a lovely place. I've been there myself. It's lovely. There are lovely beaches. The area itself is lovely. You know what I mean? It's beautiful there. These children need to grow up knowing they are safe, that they can go to these places without the fear or of something happening. Such innocent songs. And those eight children, one fatality. My heart goes out to the families. It really does. And please, mental health issues has got nothing to do with this. And if he goes down that route, I hope to God he doesn't. Because if he does, they say, oh, well, we'll send him to this place. It's a hospital. But then once that hospital deems him safe, because he's been on his meds for six months or he's been on his meds for 12 months, oh, he's safe now. They let him go. But then six months later, he'll come off his meds and he'll start again. Is not safe on the streets. If he can do it now, he can do it again. He's not safe. He needs to be locked up for good. I don't care about mental I've got mental health issues. I've got loads of friends with mental health issues. But we don't go around threatening people. Yeah, okay, there's sometimes I go out and I'll, I I wanna slap people. Right, but I don't well. I'm just here to, let, to say to the parents, our thoughts are with you and your families at this time. I'm not giving that guy a second thought from now. My thoughts are with those children.